Openu Kwarteng has been trading cocoa in Ghana's eastern region for more than four decades. He's already getting ready for next year's cocoa season and has started buying the beans from farmers. But he is worried he may not get the quantity of beans he needs. The last year, in Sulu, say. During the last crop season, heavy rains destroyed most of the cocoa farms. Farmers complained that they recorded poor harvests, so only got a few bags of beans from farmers. For the past three years, cocoa farmers in Ghana have been struggling to meet their production targets. Unusual heavy rainfall is just one of the factors farmers are up against. Many cocoa farms have been destroyed by illegal mining activities. There's also the issue of ravaging pests and diseases on the farms, as well as cocoa lands being sold for housing projects. This year, Ghana's cocoa production dropped by more than 50% at the end of the crop season in June. The managers of this warehouse say they used to buy more than 500 bags of beans every season. But this year, they could only get their hands on about 200 bags from farmers due to their poor harvest. Cocoa is crucial to Ghana's economy. In 2021, it contributed more than 10% to the country's GDP. Economists are concerned that Ghana's dwindling cocoa production could take its toll on the economy. But the government believes Ghana's cocoa production woes are almost over because it has restored some cocoa farms across the country. Because the rehabilitation we started some years ago, now these farms are coming on stream. Our expectation is that very soon, year two, three years' time, we'll have these farms also producing and then adding to the stock, and it will improve our situation significantly. Opinion Kwarteng hopes the government's intervention will yield results soon so that his warehouse can begin to receive many sacks of cocoa beans. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Oyoko, Eastern Region of Ghana.